All right. Hi, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going to bend this plate. I wanted to show you how I have this in here. You can see the center bending line is on the bend line here. Okay, right in the center. So the center line is there. This bar is on the outside line. Okay, so there's three lines. There's Well, I guess that would be the inside line. The center line, which is on the actual point at which this bends. Okay, and then the outside line is just outside of it seems to get it fairly accurate uh, i'm using a simple 18 inch long bending uh thing here i see kyle messaged me here about the piece oh okay so yep that works okay cool all right kyle glad the video helped um so what i did here is i used these clamps to actually clamp this down so i could kind of hold it in place and adjust it okay then I go back and I get as close to the part as I can with these two clamps, clamp them down good. Now, the other thing which is most important is I have to go with vice, cl vice grip clamps and clamp onto the jig, onto this plate, so that this plate does not move when you go to, because there's so much force, this, this plate, even though it's clamped, with C clamps and, and you know no matter how many C clamps you use the damn thing wants to slide backwards as you're folding the part so I put these in here and clamped them down nice and tight to so that that bar cannot physically move backwards so let's see what this does oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my alarm for the washer needing to be switched over because the timer mechanism does not work correctly on it so yeah so uh simple bending machine okay i got my square here um this particular setup does not uh, lend itself to the use of uh the bending jigs well i think it will if i just go off of here and then to the plate i think it will get me close enough anyhow so let's see what this does And sorry, my hand's in the way there. Uh, I'm going to throw this on here. And that needs to go God, just a hair. I think that's about it right there. Oh, a little bit too far. Just tweak that back. It really... You know, doesn't take much okay so and uh, show you so this is what we have now when it's actually bent oops let me see if I can get that yep you can kind of see down in there that's how it actually does it in the machine I guess this ain't a machine, but yeah, and uh, so I guess we'll see how this turned out. Uh, I realized we can't do these thin ones. I, I, I tried in the big machine. I never bent thin metal, at, tried to bend thin metal accurately in, uh, in the big machine, and it just don't seem, you can't get an accurate bend. Like I said, I got these clamped tight. So, so let's see what I got here. Let me take a, did that bend? Yeah, it's Close enough, I guess. I, <laughs> it's it's pretty close. Um, it didn't bend exactly on the center line. It actually looks like it bent more towards the. Looks like it actually bent right on the line that I had, you know, where the bar was. So it's you know, slightly off, but. 
I mean, it's, it's a good bend. Um, it didn't rip or anything like that, you can see. And the grain is going this way. So if it was going to rip, it would have ripped in here. But uh, let's see if I can get that in there in frame. Yep. So it, it's a good bend. Uh, yeah, these other ones, I, man, there's no practical way of doing this. Yeah, I, you, I'm gonna have to. I gotta go to Harbor Freight and get some of those damn bending tools to do these flaps out here and stuff. Uh, this one here too, um, because I can't do this bend first because I can't do this bend. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I figure well, these seem to be the the hardest ones to do on this piece here. So I'm just, you know, and the ones that are going to be the most seen. So I'll do them. And uh, like I said, I, I did this one. Um, and this was my first one here. And it, it turned out okay, but it's a little wonky because I had the bar a little bit too far away, I think. Uh, come on, focus, you. Ah, focus. There we go my fingers out there we go see how it's a little little bit yeah so yeah this is not now this this side here was the second one I did and it turned out much better um, I think I got to move my my bar and that's the thing okay, here's the let me explain what's going on here um, I don't like to make these videos too long but so here's my, my general thinking. When you put this in here and you go to bend, it's, it's going to want to bend right here is where it's going to bend. So it seems reasonable that you would need at least this amount of, you know, the actual material thickness away from the actual fold point. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can. Let me, uh, let me a second here, guys. I'll try to show you. So if you're doing like a, a, a 90 degree bend, uh, right there. So you can see where that the the machine does the bend. Okay. But of course, you have to account for the material thickness also. So I think I got the bend bar in the right place. Uh, you know, because you, you can't, in other words, I can't have the bend bar right up against where it folds here because the material, there's no room for the actual material itself between. So here's what I'm getting at. So I, I put the bar in here. If I put that bar up like that, there's physically no room between the bend bar and this piece for the material to, to, to fit in between there. So I think what, what actually has to happen is that the bend bar actually has to be uh, basically there, like that. Okay, so there's there's that material thickness gap in between the bend bar. So like like that right there. Because you have to account for that material thickness. Tell me if I'm thinking wrong, guys, but so yeah, so pretty pretty damn accurate. Straight is the main. That's the other thing. I could not get the damn part to, to be straight in the big machine. You just can't see what the hell you're doing. Uh, where is that damn piece? Um, it, it's fugly. I mean, <laughs> I, I did not like it at all. And I'm like, oh, man. Uh, I'm like, you know, that the line wasn't exactly straight. Um, and, and, and I tried using these things in the vise to kind of, you know, fix it up and, and yeah, it just, so guys, we're gonna, we're gonna not use, I'm trying to find that piece. 
we're going to not use bent metal parts wherever possible because man bending them accurately is an absolute nightmare um, okay I, I can't I can't find that piece right now uh, and I gotta switch over my washer but yeah so and, and what I'm gonna do here like for this big piece okay uh, is I'll uh, yeah I have to do my 90 degree bend first okay because that one gets bent down like this so I'll have to put it in here upside down get it where I want and then do the bend do the 90 degree bend flip it over uh, flip it over put it in here and again this is 18 inches long so it will fortunately do these pieces and basically put that center line right on where I want it to bend I think maybe I can go a little bit forward of the center line to kind of get it to bend on the actual center line I don't know but yeah and 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 do that bend uh, you know do that that slight bend up uh, so yeah guys yeah um, this blows uh, yeah this is not nearly as, as simple and as straightforward as is what we had all hoped uh, pieces like this where there's tight bends and stuff <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Uh, I, I, but I'm going to do the bending on this machine. I'm not going to use the big one. Uh, now with the, the, the thicker parts, yeah, you got a little bit more leeway. Um, but with this thin, you know, uh, 16th of an inch thick material, it, it just doesn't seem to, to bend accurately. The thicker material, it's, it's, you got a little bit more, you know, of a fudge factor. Uh, so yeah. Okay. That's about it guys. All right. Got to switch my washer over. Talk to you later. Bye for now.